Hey folks, I'm excited for this video. We're going to be covering the Federal Hydroshock Bullet, a 230 grain 45 ACP personal defense round, and I've heard such great things about the Federal Hydroshock. And to be honest with you, I've never had the opportunity to shoot this round before. I don't know if it's something about where I live or what, but this is a really, really hard round to find. I got lucky, picked up a box of this, and we're going to test it out. It's an interesting bullet. I mean, it's a nice looking round, nice looking factory ammo, um, and I've heard that it is quite a good personal defense round. Performs very, very well in ballistic gelatin. And that's the test we're going to put it to. We're going to be heading out to the range in just a couple minutes, and we're going to be firing five rounds into a bullseye target, and we're going to be assessing precision, that's the extreme spread of a five-shot group, accuracy, that's the score on our bullseye target, and consistency, that's the standard deviation of the muzzle velocity determined by our lab radar chronograph. Then we're going to put one round into clear ballistics, ballistic gelatin, and see how this bullet performs and how it compares to other bullets we've already tested, like the Remington Golden Saber Black Belt and the Spear Gold Dot. All three of these rounds are 230 grain 45 ACP rounds, but hey, we're going to be doing some 9mm coming up also, both 115 grain and 124 grain offerings. So, enough of a setup. Let's stop the jabbering and head out to the range. There we go, that's five rounds. Put her back on safe. Go down and take a look at that bullseye target. Then we're going to shift over to the ballistic gelatin. Well, we're back in from the range, and things didn't turn out quite as impressive as I thought they would with this Federal Hydroshock bullet. You know, the rounds didn't do too bad on bullseye target. We had a precision of about 2.4 inches, extreme spread. Now, remember, this is fired at 15 yards, five shots off of that bench. And our accuracy score was 44 points out of a possible 50. And none of them quite slicing into the dead bullseye or into the X. Uh, our consistency was just shy of 18 feet per second. That's not too bad, considering that this is factory ammo. And we were just under 
900 feet per second average muzzle velocity 898 feet per second. So this round didn't do badly at all on paper as far as the pack test is concerned. But what I want to look at more closely is the T component here, terminal performance in that ballistic gel. You know the hydroshock bullet had a decent penetration, nice penetration, 13.75 inches, which actually is a bit much according to the scoring and protocols used by the FBI. It expanded pretty well, nearly 150%, 147%, and it retained 97% of its overall weight. Now that all sounds pretty good, and it did do pretty well, but it didn't do fantastic. In fact, it fell short of both the Remington Golden Sabre Black Belt and the Spear Gold Dot bullets that we've tested previously. And by the way, you can find links to those videos in the description for this video. The final score for the Federal Hydroshock, based on our modified FBI protocol, is 398 points. And understand that this is out of a possible 500 points for that elusive, perfect bullet. While the Federal Hydroshock isn't a failure by any means, it just didn't perform quite as well as the other bullets that we've already tested. And yes, we have more bullets we'll be testing. As I alluded to earlier, we've got some 9mm bullets we'll be testing, and I've got a couple more 45 ACP bullets I want to test out as well. I hope you'll join me on our upcoming videos of Pack T testing. Thanks for watching.